two beds closest to the rows of trees. They are made from prickly pear, you can see here, and the two beds in the middle are occupied with coffee. Forget about sustainability, you want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees, the problem is not planting them. What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Agroforce Academy channel. I'm going to show you today the, the result of a course I've just finished giving here in the city of Tapiramuta in Bahia. And it's the second time I come to this property to, to lecture a course. And we just finished this planting here, which looks pretty, pretty cool. It was a small plot, about 150 square meters. Uh, which is close to a bigger one and a half hectare plot that the guys here are implementing. And it was a, it's a design that I've never done before and I think it, it's looking quite interesting. It's got the main focus of coffee and citrus and a bit of, of avocado, but mainly coffee and citrus. So I'm gonna give you a tour around the, the plot. So this is the this is the place. It is 15 by 12, and unfortunately we didn't have time to finish the whole thing. So you can see that there's this part over here that the people of the farm will have to to finish covering. Uh, but we've planted everything. So let me take a step back to show you what it looks like. We've got rows of trees. So we've got one here, another one here. They're six meters apart. And then we've got the third one right here. In the rows of trees, we have banana plants every three meters. They were planted. And then here in between the banana plants, we're gonna have one lime plant so we have bananas every three meters and then limes every three meters as well in between the banana plants and then between the lime and the banana i have two pineapples and service trees right in between we planted a, some ugly seedlings that one of the guys here got from a um, from a government nursery. The seedlings are not uh, looking great. Some of them are all right, but many of them are not looking so great, but they got them for free. So uh, I figured we might as well plant them. But then we also added seeds here from some 10 different species of native and exotic trees, which will be the, the guarantee of a healthy tree population around here. So that's pretty much the, the design of the rows of trees. So once again, bananas every three meters, citrus in between the banana plants. So they're every three meters as well. Uh, between one citrus and one banana, that's 1.5 meters. We have two pineapples and the trees right in between the pineapples. Besides that, we added in the center of the bed corn and pigeon pea. And on the edges, we have beans. I wanted to plant some jack beans as well, but unfortunately they didn't have enough seeds for the whole area. All right, so that's what we have for the, the row of trees. Now I'm going to, to show you the rows in between. We have four beds. The two beds closest to the rows of trees, 
They are made from prickly pear, you can see here. And the two beds in the middle are occupied with coffee. So the way I, I plant prickly pear is this. Uh, so one very close to the other that averages one prickly pear every 10 centimeters. This is the, the way to produce the most organic matter from prickly pear. You need to, to fertilize it well because it, you've got more mouths to feed when you plant it like this. So they were well manured and well fertilized with phosphorus from, from bone meal. And then in the two coffee beds in the middle, I have coffee every meter. And then they're planted in a, in a triangle in between the beds. So you can see that the first one starts in the very beginning of the bed, but the other bed, I started the coffee 50 centimeters ahead so that each plant has a bit more space to occupy. And then regardless if it's a coffee bed or a prickly pear bed, I have corn and pigeon pea planted in the middle every meter. Corn is planted with the coffee plant. Let me try to find the seeds here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them now, but anyway, the coffee is planted, the corn is planted right close to the coffee plant and the pigeon pea is planted in between the coffee plants and the same spacing we use for the prickly pear rows. So they're a line, the corn that's here in the coffee, there's a corn right here in the prickly pear bed. The reason why I planted the corn with the coffee and the pigeon pea in between the coffee is that the pigeon pea is long lasting so it's going to be here for a year, maybe even two, probably a year before I take it out. But the corn will only stay for three to five months. So I chose to leave the, the, the longer lasting plant in between the, the coffee so that the coffee has a bit more space. And then on the edges of the bed, we open furrows on every bed, regardless, regardless if it's a coffee bed or prickly pear bed. We opened furrows on the edges and we planted uh, beans every 10 centimeters. Like I said, ideally I would have jack beans every 50 centimeters along with the common beans. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing this recent plot. I think it looks very nice. We used all of the organic matter that we could. There's some logs underneath this, uh, this straw layer. You can see here, these logs came from these jackfruits that were pruned back here. I instructed the, the fellas here to finish pruning them and they should do it soon. We also had the opportunity to, to install a, um, an electric fencing for the pigs. The guys have, they, they raise pigs here, so that was pretty cool. And um, that's it. There you go, there's a nice site. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out our full agroforestry course. There's a card right here. And uh, if you want to support the channel, join us in our Patreon community. You're going to get access to some extra material. For example, I'm going to be producing the sketch for this system. So you're going to be, have access to a PDF with that sketch to you know, make it easier if you want to try to simulate a similar system. Uh, so, you know, you can join us for $7.90. That goes a long way to help us with the uh, content we're producing. And that's it. I thank you for watching and I'm Felipe with the Agroforestry Academy and I'm signing out.